All right, it's Chief with Bonding with Board Games. I'm very excited about Code Word Cromwell. This is the a solitaire game, very expensive, um, developed by the Combined Forces. I'll flip this over and we'll take a look at it uh, out of, out of uh, where is it? Combined Forces Military College in Greenwich. And the whole concept here is that it's the actual invasion of England by Germany. Uh, they've got a uh, Saturday, June 8th, 1940, and Sea Lion, Operation Sea Lion, if memory serves me correctly, was the German plan for invading England. Of course, that never happened. They really couldn't get all their forces across, but let's take a look. I had a little tear on this already, but I have not opened it. Um, I made, you know, I'm, I used to be a huge fan of solitaire games. They play really well on the military side. I love history, so when I'm able to recreate history in a board game format, I feel like it's a super fun way to learn. And uh, that's one reason when I'm playing solitaire games, I really like my solitaire games um, in a war game format. I find that, uh, that part enjoyable. Much better way for me to learn history. So let's see what we got here. All right. Again, love the concept. Wow. Got a German Invasion England Intelligence Briefing booklet. So um, I would imagine this is just, okay, it's kind of like historical text. Breakdowns on all the weapons. This is, how many pages are we talking about? 71, 72 pages if you count the nice little back cover with the, what is it, a Panzer III, Panzer II? All right, cool. We've got our rules of play, very nice, kind of same as the cover here. Let's see what the uh, inside looks like. So we got green, a little bit of a uh, uh, little bit of color on what the counters look like. One thing I really liked about this is you are playing with like the home guard, and you've uh, my understanding is you've got to kind of stay alive until regular troops or or fight off the German little invasion in your area until the regular troops can get in. So it's kind of got an interesting element there. I know very little about this, so I can't really go into much more. So as you can see, we've just got some historical photographs here. And I'm banging some things around, my apologies. And some general charts, fairly thick card stock, single-sided. Let's see. All right, we've got a uh, couple of real big boards that look interesting. I'm going to come back to these in a second. Let's see what we got. We got some real thick counters here that are showing individual weapons, grenades. All right, this is the scale I like. I really like man-to-man, -man, or in this case, I think you've even got some female English partisan types. So very kind of interesting. We've got uh, a little bit of the Nazi flag. I'm surprised that'll make it a little, little bit hard to sell in Germany, if not impossible. All right, double-sided, nice. And here's kind of what I was talking about. So you've got these individual personas. So you've got a like a Bobby, looks like a professor. I don't know what these other folks are. Right down to a couple ladies. Some guy likes to smoke a cigar with a fedora. Maybe a priest here. Um, so everything from medical kits to the Bryn machine gun. And you can just kind of get a look at some of these counters. Again, these counters, you can see by, based on my thumb, are pretty big. And we've got yet one more. And this is a lot of actual what looks like. So again, we've got some personas, but then we've got some actual troops as well. And then everything KIA with Churchill on the other side. Got some cards, some dice numbered. I will uh, rip some of these open in a little bit, but I want to take a look. Well, let's rip these open now. First of all, I love the fact when they come with the pre-done tear. Um, easy to find, easy to get open, hopefully. So let's see what we got here. I don't think I got a good tear on this. My bad, my tear came up short. This should just separate. 
Ah, come on. That's the whole point I have with cards. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, German flagship sunken mines. So we got event cards, event cards. And we're going to have some tactical event cards, German strategy cards, and British strategy cards. What do these look like? So the British strategy cards. All right, Spitfire's coming in. Good link up between parachute and infantry. Again, what I really like about this is, is that mythical sea line where the Germans are crossing the English Channel and instead they're invading uh, England. And uh, folks, they had this planned out. Um, I think their main issue was what the Allies overcame was that um, physical ports to actually land your ships and support your landed infantry is the difficult portion. Of course, we did that with what I believe were called mulberries, which were um, we were able to go out there and kind of sink in our own little cement pontoons and, and make, a, uh, make a place that could offload heavy equipment pretty easy and cheap. Mulberries, if I remember right, if I'm wrong, guys start yelling at me online right now. Um, but, man, this one tore off short too. So I'm going to be struggling with this. Hold on. Come on. Oh, these are the uh, character event cards. Some more of these. So we've got a ton of character event cards. We're back into tactical. German strategy looks like kind of the same thing. All right, but these are different. PT boats interrupt. Okay. Kind of a, a little bit of a generic interface. Not bad. I like these vehicle cards. Sorry if I'm out of screen there. These are kind of nice. Vickers machine gun, Bryn. What is this? A spy got. Not even familiar with that. I have to learn on it. Hey, everybody loves the Thompson with the foregrip. Gangsta style. All right, one more, and then we're going to show you the map. Uh, strong currents. Hey, Brunchy knows how to rip that one off. All right. Character event cards again, same thing, tactical event cards, German strategy cards, British strategy cards. So again, strong currents, destroyer squadron, um, same kind of thing, just different types of cards. Here we go, if I'm drifting off, I have no idea what the red means. So, okay, interesting. All right, let's get to these maps. These maps are gorgeous. I may even have to adjust my camera. I can almost guarantee I'm going to have to adjust my camera. So, maps are in two. Let me see if I can avoid some glare, and we're going to take a look at it. These maps are going to go together, but gorgeous. This is the kind, I'm telling you, I love when I've got this top-down feel. This is one of the things I like about tactical maps. And then we're going into, it looks like it's just some turn track order. And then invasion, I don't know what this are. If cards come in and play, we'll have to see when I do a full review. Good standing, person of interest. I have no idea what 18B status is, is what this says here. Um, game designed by Daniel Hodges. So graphic designed by Mark Mahaffery. Fifth column, fifth column games. Gorgeous board, and that's only half of it. So let me, let me break into the other half of it. So again, you can kind of get a look. Let me bring this up so we don't have glare. I'm still gonna have some glare. Sorry guys, I'm shooting at night. Nothing like a cricket pitch. All right, and I'm gonna show you this other side just before I flip it open. All right. Nice, nice map design. And come on. Sorry. So here we go. We've got the church. You can kind of see everything a little bit better. Again, I'm going to have some glare. Sorry, guys. So these two maps will come together, and it's going to be quite huge. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I don't know if I flipped this over. If I did, I'm sure you couldn't get a good look at it. There's the full representation of the board pieced together. So, and then you can see just some of the text here. 
but I love this idea. I always love alternate history and uh, I don't know, you know, just what could have been, what might have happened, what could have been. And see you guys later, Chief. Bonnie with board games. I gotta get a review of this. Mm -hmm.